Hello everyone, welcome to Quicksand Solutions training video for Dynamics 365 Business Central. Today we're going to discuss year-end closing procedures. All right, so we are going to go through the process of closing a year in Business Central. To close a year, if possible, it is ideal to have all of your adjusting entries posted, but if you don't have them posted, or you don't have them available, it can be done at a later time. So on the top right of your screen, you're gonna select the magnifying glass, the search for, and we're gonna put in accounting periods. So from here, we'll select accounting periods. And you can see in this, in this example that the year 2021 is still open. From, you can see that 2020 is closed. So we are going to go ahead and we are going to close 2021. To do this, we're going to go process and close year. This function closes the fiscal year for 2021. That is what we want. So yes, we're going to close the year. So from here, then we're going to navigate to the chart of accounts and close the income statement. So to close the income statement, we're going to go process, close income statement. To, to confirm the fiscal year ending date is correct, select the general journal template. And we'll select general, we'll select default. So we, sorry, we are confirming that this is the last day of the year that we are going to close. So yes, December 31st, 2021. It auto populates a document number and we just wanna make sure that the retained earnings that 30200 is in fact the correct account. So retained earnings, yes. And we will post the retaining earnings to the balance. We're posting the retained earnings balance. And then we would just select OK once everything's confirmed. Journal lines have been successfully created. So now we're going to open the general journal. And we can do that from our magnifying glass. General Journal, we'll re review our closing entries. You can see that the description comes through as close income. I'm not quite sure what this entry is. It must have been in here previously, so we're just going to go ahead and delete that. And once those closing entries are confirmed, we're going to post the system generated journal entry. So let's go ahead and post. Yes. The journals were successfully posted. And now we can go up back to our magnifying glass and we're gonna go and look up general ledger setup. There we go. And we need to change this allow posting from date to the current year, which is going to be the 1st of January because we just closed 2021. So that completes the year end procedures. So we'll just have a look at, uh, let's just go into we are going to go into our retained earnings account and look at the ledgers. So you can see this is the entry to close the income statement that we just completed. So in order to post adjusting entries after you've closed the year, you would go back into your general ledger setup You would remove this date. 
you could you would enter your uh, adjusting entries and make sure that they are dated for the previous year and then once again you would navigate to your chart of accounts and you would process and close the income statement again and you would have you would need to confirm that the fiscal year end date is correct select the general journal template and the general journal batch note that the correct retained earnings account is selected the document number again will auto generate and once you've confirmed everything then you would click OK open the general journal that that was created and uh, once you confirm all of those entries you would post it just like we did the first time around and then go back into the general ledger setup and enter the allow posting from date once again and that would complete your year-end process And because we had no other entries, there was nothing that generated. Thank you for joining me. If you'd like to learn more, subscribe to our YouTube channel or you can visit us at quicksand.com.